Red Couch Fridays back again. <clears throat> Said last week we we're gonna hit some more Indian stuff, only because we haven't. So we might as well fill some voids. Uh, this week it's about some throttle bodies, combinations, um, performance packages, so on and so forth. So what you see here are three throttle bodies. 46, 54, and 60 millimeter throttle bodies, all for thunder stroke, 111. So the one of the things we've been getting a lot of is, do we sell 60 millimeter throttle bodies? Now you'll notice that if something doesn't work performance wise, you probably won't see it on our website. That's one of the reasons why we truthfully never sold MSD coils. They look good but they don't do an effing thing to increase the power. So therefore, we're not gonna sell it. <clears throat> so that's also why 60 millimeter throttle bodies are not on the website. So sorry if you spent hundred bucks on an eBay 60 millimeter, but shit took the wife out for dinner. So anyway, let's get on with some results. So woke up this morning, said, okay, we got a couple things to test. Um, a lot of people are having a hard time with PowerVision CX with the 585 cams. Or I should just say in general, a lot of people are having a hard time with PowerVision CX, period. So we figured, okay, we're gonna knock a couple birds down with one stone and we're gonna do some testing. So one was to build some maps for 585 with um, PC5 and fix the idle issue or have a cure to fix the idle issue so that they're not stalling with Power Commander and 585s. And any other one was testing throttle bodies. So we started off first with the stock 54 millimeter throttle body. And uh, pretty much the bike was, you know, in tune. So we didn't really have to do much with that. So we made some pulls um, and we ended up with 105 horse, 129 foot pounds of torque with the stock throttle body. Granted, if you know, if you've been on the dyno with Thunderstroke 111s, you will know this. If you ran that bike every day for a week, you would have seven different sets of numbers, one different for each day of the week. Temperature is super critical on Thunderstroke. It has to have the same engine temperature and intake temperature to produce consistent results. So with that, we kept all of these within a 35 minute change out of uh, the three tests. Um, always bringing the motor up to the exact same temperature again before we make our runs. So we can get as much consistency as possible. Then you say, oh wow, 35 minutes. You tune three times in 35 minutes? No, I have my limitations. But we didn't need to tune. That's the key. So, why didn't I need it to? Well, I'll explain it to you. This is why. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, the 54 millimeter throttle body appears to be able to ingest enough air for the 111 where not only doesn't it need a bigger one, but it doesn't need a smaller one either. So therefore, air fuel remain virtually identical throughout all our testing. So regardless, what that tells us is the fact that the airflow through each one of these throttle bodies was consistent and very close to each other, or we would get a significant change in our air fuel ratio, and of course a significant change in our power levels. And we didn't see either. So 105 horse, 129 foot pounds with the 54. The 46 made 102 horse, 128 foot pounds. And then the 60 millimeter, 105 horse, 125 foot pounds of torque. Each one of them was tested without the air cleaner because we're not worried about how well the air cleaners were, were flown. We're worried about how much air is gonna be ingested in the motor. And then each throttle body I put on a bell mouth to ensure that we weren't having any difference in turbulence on the inlet sides between the different sizes because from 46 
to 60 is a pretty significant size change. Also, um, this bike, 585 KMs, um, Arcelor Bonds, no baffles, and stock rev limiter. Why stock rev limiter? Well, because we're building PC5 maps for these. So, stock rev limiter. So, what's that get to? Well, one of the things that we've, we're seeing a lot more is the fact that we're having bad combinations of components and it's not a surprise because it's been happening in Harley World forever. When you have a bunch of manufacturers building product for the same motor, people tend to mismatch or just grab parts from one vendor to the other, put them together, and sometimes that combination is not very performance oriented. Actually, sometimes you destroy the power levels. So with that moving forward, keep in mind, we are your source for Indian performance. We probably test more than any other company out there because we don't just test the product we're building we test all the products together and by all means we test everybody else's stuff to see where it lies against ours so please don't waste 100 bucks on a 60 millimeter throttle body if it's not going to help you in power wise now granted big bores um, possibly a different combination will yield maybe a little bit different results but in the end you can see by the dyno graphs the numbers didn't vary much and between 14 millimeters difference in throttle body size you would think it would so moving forward just remember this isn't our restriction in this motor so with that um, like I said we, we built some maps for PC5 with 585 so if you guys are waiting to put them cams in because you're waiting for the IO cure issue okay it's here and then um, you know the only downside is that for now you won't have a higher rev limiter than a stock rev limiter so when you choose choose wisely on your performance parts and um, I'm totally fucked on words right now. Bye.